Hey everyone, I'm Allie. I work in Disability Support Services as the Accommodation Services Coordinator, and I am here with Mary Allison and Cliff with the Lakeshore Foundation. Hey y'all. Hi. Hi. You want to so, introduce? Yeah, if y'all would introduce yourselves and just tell us a little bit um, about what you all do at the Lakeshore Foundation. Sure. Um, first off, thanks for having us here today. Um, my name is Mary Allison Cook. Um, and I am the Associate Director of Communications at Lakeshore Foundation. Um, and this is Cliff, I'll let him introduce himself. Yep, I'm Cliff Cook, and I am the Associate Director of Recreation and Athletics. And um, we are pleased to be with you today. And we're also married, so that's why we're sharing the headphone. Same We've last been, name. Same last name, and why we are so close to one another, um, because we have been self-isolating together for a long time. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we both work at Lakeshore and um, Lakeshore really, we're all about creating opportunity for, for people with physical disabilities um, and chronic health conditions to lead active, healthy, independent lifestyles. Um, and we do that in three primary different kind of pillars of work. We do that through physical activity. Um, so offering um, adapted sport, fitness, aquatics, um, recreation programming uh, for people who live in the greater Birmingham area, uh, people of all ages. And then we also have a strong um, pillar of um, research, which connects us really strongly with UAB. We have the UAB Lecture Research Collaborative um, that began in 2009. Um, and that collaborative is in partnership with the School of Health Professions at UAB. So we um, have staff working at Lakeshore, staff working at UAB, partnering together um, to do all different types of research related to um, health, wellness, physical activity for people with physical disabilities and chronic health conditions. And then lastly, um, we have our pillar of advocacy, uh, which is probably uh, while we've been doing advocacy since our inception as an organization, um, really publicly entering that space is kind of a new, a new initiative for us within the past 10 years. Uh, and so really trying to get outside of our four walls and really um, put ourselves in spaces um, that is advancing the disability rights movement, creating more access and inclusion, not just at Lakeshore, but in our community. So you talked about both working with UAB and the community. Can you talk a little bit about the programs that you all do? Yeah, yeah I'll speak more to that. Um, so we, with programming, we have, I guess, three different departments that kind of handle the programming for our local members. And that would be, um, we have an aquatics department that offers um, programs in the water. We have a fitness department that offers programs that would be more exercise related and in a workout gym. And then we have our recreation and athletics department, which I work in. And we offer the recreation based programs as well as the athletic programs with competitive teams and that sort of thing. And so there, there is also um, other types of programs that we offer that we would be considered special events to where there would be people that come outside of the local community to come and participate at Lakeshore. Um, and there's a number of those, um, but uh, specifically, it, it, it revolves around um, aquatics, fitness, and recreation and uh, athletics. What about um, with the impact that you all have? Can you talk a little bit about the impact that you have both locally and outside of Birmingham? Definitely. Um, and I think that is something we, I feel like we really as an organization have evolved quite um, rapidly and grown quite, quite rapidly within the, the past decade, especially with our um, collaboration with UAB, um, as well as we are the home um, of USA Wheelchair Rugby. And then we are also um, home to the National Center for Health, Physical Activity and Disability, NICPAD, um, which is a CDC funded center um, that provides all types of resources related to disability, um, and it's a national organization. So we really do have an impact both lo locally, nationally, and globally um, with our uh, kind of work within the Paralympic movement and para sport. Um, 
So I think locally we really do um, provide opportunities in many different ways. Uh, we really have tried to look at ourselves more than just a building, more than just a place where people can come, because we realize that's so limiting, especially for people with disabilities that have limited access um, in all aspects of their life um, and where inclusion just is not um, equal. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we really try not only to uh, provide kind of tangible services for people where they can come, where they can create relationships, where they can become fit and healthy and active and find their passions and interests and then achieve goals through those things. But we also really try to reach out to people who will never be able to come through our doors um, through, you know, technology using um, telehealth right now is, is a big focus um, of ours, especially through the research collaborative. Um, and uh, really a lot through, through uh, di the digital space and storytelling. So we can um, hear stories from other disabled people that live um, in areas outside of where we live mm -hmm. and really connect and really have a greater impact to that way. Chris, me and you talked earlier um, about with everything going virtual and people you know, being at home, um, about the programs and things that you all are offering. Do you mind um, going into that a little bit more? Yeah, so like the rest of the world, we have, or at least the United States, we've been shifting to um, really focusing on a product that we can deliver to someone in their house mm -hmm. um, with the stay at home and safer at home um, guidelines that we have right now. And so what we did is we st stood back and we said, you know, what, what, if we were to kind of summarize what we offer at Lakeshore, how can we take that and deliver it to someone in their house? And there's a number of different um, programs and packages that we've come up with that are available um, through different social media um, outlets through our website. Um, and then it, we're, there's other ways we disseminate that information as well. Um, but but we are offering um, at-home workouts that are designed for specific populations, whether it be adults, um, um, youth. There's some that are designed specifically for athletes that um, are wanting more of a challenging workout. Then there's the there's programs where we are saying, hey, this is how you can play at home. Um, we have a program coming up that is um, a we we call it Teen Club and Kid Club. And it's going to be a live session where the, the staff member interacts with the participants in their home. They're going to be building um, a cornhole set and competing against each other um, <laughs> and playing together. And so it's, it's things like that where, you know, we typically have done that in the past at Lakeshore, but the staff has been incredibly creative in figuring out how can we get that to people's house and do it in an approachable um, in an accessible way um, to maximize the um, opportunity for everyone to be able to participate in it. Thanks. I've got one more thing for y'all. So say, um, you know, any one of our students wants to um, volunteer, how can they go about doing that? Yeah, so um, they can visit our website, lakeshore.org. Um, and simple, as simple as it is, they can just click in the upper right-hand corner of that website. Um, there is a careers and volunteers button, uh, and they can click that button and that will take them to our volunteer page where they have, we have all of the information, um, and a form that you can fill out to volunteer. I know right now, um, we, right now we haven't been having many volunteer opportunities just because we are currently in our, um, stage one of reopening. Um, which is limiting a lot of our activity at Lakeshore. We're not offering any on-site classes right now. Mm -hmm. um, we are not sure when we will be moving into stage two, um, but we're taking a very um, cautious stage approach in how we reopen um, just because we, we understand those that we serve mm -hmm. um, and the need and the risk um, involved in those who we serve. So, and those who are a part of what we do um, a lot of times, you know, as being a person with a disability, I always, we're always talking about collaborating rather than just serving. Um, so 
yes, that's one thing that they can do to volunteer. And, you know, like Cliff said, a, a lot of um, up to now, a lot of our virtual resources have been open to, to anyone. Um, so when you go to our website, you'll see on our homepage uh, a tab that says virtual classes and programs um, and individuals, um, anyone can click there. We have dozens and dozens of workout videos for adults, kids, athletes. We have recipes. Um, all of our staff have been submitting weekly recipes um, that they are uh, trying at home, healthy recipes. So if you're in you know, your pantry rut right now, of I don't know what I'm supposed to cook, we have recipes. We also have a lot of um, mindfulness videos because that's been another um, strong and important aspect of our work is the importance of exercising mindfulness. Um, and so we have a lot of different resources on our website as well as our YouTube channel and our social channels. Thanks, you two. I do want to mention something. Cliff, I love your t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I put it on. I was <laughs> yes. like, this, this is perfect. Yes, that is perfect. Yeah. Um, I did a presentation this morning, and I was talking about our partnership with in, in doing the uh, wheelchair basketball and wheelchair flag football games. And I was like, hey, you know, we UAB's never won, but maybe, maybe it's our turn soon. <laughs> so. right, right. And the thing is, is like, you know, win or lose, Lakeshore, I know, I'm, I'm speaking for Lakeshore, they have a blast coming yeah. out and playing with you all. Um, and so that has been a lot of fun, and we do look forward to continuing that. Yeah, that's what we hear every year from the students, people that play. It's like, when are we doing it next year? Or when's the next game? And then even the people that come out to watch the game, um, some will come out to watch the game, and then you turn and look at them, and they're playing. So, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is a lot. Um, all right, y'all, I appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for doing this with us.